So when talking about portrait lighting, many photographers are using strobe or flashlight, but there is actually another way. And of course, I'm not talking about natural light. I'm talking about video light. Let me tell you this. Video light is absolutely hidden gem in portrait lighting. It can make your life a lot easier. But that's not even the most important part. The most important part for me is it can make you improve your portrait lighting so much quicker. Let me explain why. So when we're shooting outdoor, actually the color temperature changes throughout the day. During the blue hours, the color temperature is much cooler. During the golden hour, the color temperature is much warmer. And during the daytime, it date is daytime balanced, which is uh, 5500K. So that's a problem when you're using strobe light because your strobe light is only daylight balanced. So that means when you're shooting during the golden hour, your lighting gonna look much cooler. When you're shooting during the blue hours, your lighting gonna look much warmer. So the solution will be you're either using gel or you're fixing the post editing. For me, I hate using gel. I just like, it just slowed me down too much. And then I, found I had to change gel more often than I want. It's just super annoying. I would rather just fix it in the post editing. But this is no longer an issue if you use a video lighting because some of the video light allow you to change the color temperature. So that means you can balance your light with ambient in two different levels. You can balance the amount of your light with ambient. You can also balance the color of your light with ambient. And that's super awesome. That means you don't need to use gel anymore and then you don't have to worry about fixing them in the post editing. Okay, now the second thing, which is the most important part. Video light is different from strobe light because it's constant. That means what you see is what you get. So strobe light is like a very, uh, it's just a flash of light in a very short period of time. So in order to see the result, you have to press the shutter and check the back of your camera. So this is why when we're doing photo shoot outside, we always need to do this one thing. Whenever we change the angle or background or location, uh, it's called a lighting test. We have to make sure the lighting works and get the right result that we want. But when you're using video light, you don't have to worry about this anymore because the constant light will give you a preview so you can see what you end up gonna get. So you can clearly see how the lighting fall on your subject and when you walk around your subject, you can clearly see how the lighting pattern changed when you change your shooting angle. And this is a great way for you to learn lighting and also a great way if you're trying to, you know, experiment with, uh, experiment with different uh, lighting effects. To be honest with you, I wish when I start learning portrait lighting, I start with the video lighting. It's just gonna make my life a lot easier and I can improve a lot quicker. All right, so that's about the theory part. Let's see how, uh, video light works in the real world. But before we do that, let me show you what light that I use. So the light that I use is a Zhiyun Molus X100. This light is a 100 watt light and it has a color temperature range between 2700K to 6500K, which for me pretty much covers all the situation that you're gonna encounter when you're shooting outside. The light is pretty small and lightweight. It only weighs around 385 gram. If you use the battery, and they, the weights go up to 950 gram, but this is still around 30% lighter than the smallest strobe light that I use. So it's still a pretty lightweight light. The light using ZY mount, which allow you to mount Jin mini reflector and mini softbox. And their mini softbox also come with a grid, which is super handy because it allow you to control your lighting more precisely. Jiyun also provide adapter which allow you to attach this light with many different light modifiers in Bowen mount so they can, you can turn this light into a, a very flexible tool for your portrait lighting. And of course, there's an app available which allow you to remotely control the lighting, either the color temperature or brightness. I found this a very useful function. So when I do the photo shoot, I actually use this function quite a bit. And the last thing I want to mention is there are two other ways you can power this light, which is either through the DC adapter, which comes with the light, or use a USB-C cable. Okay, so that's the technical part about this light. Let's see how this light works in a real-world photo shoot. Using full power, right? So this is pretty. This ambient is not too bright, but it's not too dark either. I think when it gets dark, we probably just use a one percent. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, this time I'm gonna do a little bit close up. That's good. Okay. So much better, that's good. I got move a little bit far away from the light. A little bit 
right there. Good. Okay. Let's try here, just just right here, it's okay, yeah. Like let's try just right here. We're gonna use this background. I think we might need to change the lighting back to the daylight balance. The color is off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah three time. And then the other one. This time, let's turn the light that way. Okay. Yeah, put the light. Uh, um, put it on that thing? Yeah. I'm gonna make the light very, very bright. Yeah, I'm gonna... This time, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna blind myself. I don't know where it maybe come from somewhere here, but there's a there's an enough light for that. So. One percent is so strong, probably like just five or more days left. Okay, now you see how this light works in a real photo shoot. Let me give you some of my opinion about this light. I think this light is pretty good for run and gun photography. This light will cover almost all the lighting situations other than the bright daylight, uh, which I think 100 watts is not going to be strong enough. But you probably don't want to do it anyway because it's just going to be way too bright and then it's going to hurt your model's eye too much. So I would say anything from like overcasting day to low light, this light can handle it easily. Then let's talk about the uh, the battery performance. 
So the battery uh, on their official website is saying the battery can last up to 30 minutes uh, under full power. So when we do the photo shoot, our photo shoot is three hours long. Uh, we have two lights. Uh, sometimes I use just one, sometimes I use both lights. And there's uh, three photographers, me and two of my friends. So we use the light quite a bit uh, for the three hours. And after we finish the photo shoot, one battery still have 50% left. The other battery have 75% left. So I would say the battery can easily last your photo shoot, maybe even a whole day of photo shoot. If you shooting like what I said from either overcasting day or low light. So the battery performance is really impressive. The light modifier, I used the 36 inches umbrella with the uh, adapter. I also tried the 36 Octabox at home with adapter just to see how the adapter handle it. I feel this adapter can easily handle any mid-size to small size light modifiers. I wouldn't recommend to use a large modifier like, you know, five feet octa on this uh, adapter. It probably gonna break it. It's just not designed to work with a large modifier. I don't think so. So that means with medium size to small size light modifier, you pretty you pretty much have a, like a, a like hundreds of different choices of a light modifier. So make this light into a very flexible tool. Uh, like what I said, it's a great tool for run and gun photography. So this is one little thing I uh, I wish a Jimmy will fix in the future is uh, the mounting hardware. So what happened is we use the uh, adapter and there's no problem because the, the adapter has the mounting mechanism so you can attach the light to the light, mount, uh, to the light stand. But once when you use their mini reflector and the mini salt box, I quite like their mini salt box. So there's no mounting hardware. So you can't put the light on your light stand anymore. Um, you have to purchase some third-party mounting hardware. Uh, it probably only gonna cost you $10 on Amazon, but it just would be nice if Jin includes this in the package so you don't have to worry about this anymore. Okay, that's it. So if you make this far, uh, I'll say thank you and uh, I'll see you next time.